Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts and today we are making this card here. You see, I have been uh, stamping with my own homemade uh, ink pad, which I made with various colours. Uh, Hello Honey, Olive... Um, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay and Pacific Point. And of course, you know, sort of the leaks are, you know, the drops of uh, ink are in there. It's not finished. So I'm just going to keep on stamping before I chuck it out. Um, I put this in an empty um, stamp case. Um, you can't keep it forever. It will dry out. But to be honest, I made this yesterday. I re-inked it a little bit today to film this and it's fine. So I don't know. You know, I can keep on using it for a couple of more times, but um, yes, I'll just make the most of it now and then I'll chuck it out, I think. So yes, we are still again <laughs> using vintage leaves and lighthearted leaves. I just love these stamp sets. I can't help it. Um, and this is the thanks, um, the sentiment for Thanksgiving that we are going to be using. I also will be uh, cutting out my leaf and I'm using the dies for that. So that's the die in readiness. And uh, yeah, so this is the card we are making. So as you can see, a background panel, lots of leaves, and then uh, this one here. So we're going to start with this one here, and then we'll do the background panel in a moment. So let's put this on here. I'm going to put my embossing, pa oh my word, I've got these everywhere, <laughs> the backing. <laughs> Uh, Versamark, I have re-inked it with my Versamark as well, so that's nice and juicy. I've, I'm, I'm being lazy, I'm putting stamps on both blocks, on both sides of the blocks. And I'm just putting this down in the middle of the paper towards the bottom. And give it a good push, and yes, it will stick because obviously it is sticky. So we get our powder out and I have here a piece of paper just so that I can catch my powder. There we go. I do that a bit so it catches the first mark and then I try to get as much as I can back in the pot flick it a bit so things come off. I have a lot of stray ends, although I have this, yeah, I have done the embossing body. There's still a lot of stray ones. And let's put this there. Okay, so that needs embossing and I will meet you after I've done that. So here we go, that's embossed, so that's ready to be used. This card is two inches by three inches, and the basic card is the thicker wide cardstock, it's the A4 cut in half, scored in half, and then we have Bermuda Bay, and this is where I'm going to cut out my extra leaf, and I had the die here just now, and now of course not anymore. There. <laughs> so I will cut that out. Okay, so that's been cut out. So that's ready and that's ready to go underneath. So that this is the first panel. And then we'll have the second panel on top of that. Now for the second panel, um what I'm doing here really um is a lot easier for you. What you could do is Take a whole A4 sheet, stamp it completely, and then cut it up. And then you have four parts that you can use, or even more if you, um, you know, if you cut it in more bits. So that's what they call the um, <clears throat> the one sheet wonder technique, um, where they uh, where you just cut um, you know a piece of a pre cut a pre stamped piece of uh, paper that you've. Um, that you've prepared and that you've had fun stamping because it is a lot of fun doing that because you just stamp away basically so that's what I'm going to do so I've put my piece of paper underneath because I'm going to stamp off the page as well which is important because you want to act as if you have cut it um, down uh, the middle and stuff like that so right one more of these yes my my little 
my little thing keeps coming away from the um, my little uh, ink pad keeps <laughs> coming up with the stamp but that's okay that's fine so let's put another stamp on a block there we go and ink it up I just try and keep things down and just do everything in different directions and just different ways of um, you know just catching the ink basically there we go clean that one off and let's get another one out here we are this one here the smaller one so you start with the biggest leaf and then you go to smaller ones And basically, I just stamp them in any direction. And even like this, look, because of course, you know, that can happen. And let's bring in this one here as well. Although it doesn't fit my block properly, I'm not going to stamp it completely, but it will bring some variation. See, there we go my piece of paper so when you're doing this and it's a big piece of course it's it's a lot more fun and it's a lot more work as well but it's a lot more stamping so that's what we want isn't it there we go see voila I like this yep okay so I'm going to close this up Make sure I don't have any... Oh, yes, there is some on my uh, nails, so better wipe that off just to make sure. And this is our background panel. So we're going to put it like that. So you can decide which way you want it. If you made a mistake or there was a little bit sort of not stamped so well, you can choose that one to put this over, and that's going to cover that leaf up. But that, that, that's okay, I don't mind. See, and that goes there. And we have forgotten... <laughs> I'm so well organized today we have forgot that's from a last video this is from the last video as well uh, I have forgotten to stamp the stamp that we're going to um, cut out <laughs> oh dear I think it's time for dinner soon it's in the oven so right stamp there we go that's good okay so close our ink pad again here and let's cut this out and here we are so we have cut out a little leaf that we need for our focal point <laughs> I'd almost forget that there we go see and let's see if we can stamp the inside oh I didn't stamp the inside here let's do that quickly yep here we go again yes another chance to stamp let's just go for it I should say <laughs> this um, ink pad is now playing playing up there we go it still works though um, you know so in a way I have to say I prefer using a few more uh, wet wipes that's it stays down better I think see this comes up straight away there, okay right so this is the card I had already made but I have forgotten the inside there we go look so we finished that card we've got everything ready for this card apart from ta -da, the envelope yes the envelope so let's have another go here I want a bit more yellow in there there we go. Voila. I think I like this green. It's nice. Okay, so let's... Now, I think it's time to close this. It might, it might be time to chuck it out as well. I don't know. Right, so where is my base card? That would help, wouldn't it? Here we go. Okay, glue. So we've done the inside. We're now going to glue on the base. And when you've cut something out, it's better to glue it on like this, because otherwise you might end up with glue 
if you glue this completely and then glue it on there then you have a hole with glue in and then you might get sticky fingers then we glue this bit on and I don't know whether you can see but I've only taken a small edge here this is a bigger edge this is a small edge so there's only a, a hint of um, Bermuda Bay coming through then here I like this to be like that and then we will need some dimensionals and I'm going to put this leaf on dimensionals like that so it comes sort of from yep okay and then this leaf I'm going to put a dimensional here and a tiny bit of glue there because this is going to rest on the on that leaf and then like that like that there we go so it needs its own, its own support there. So that's our card finished. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.